Hi, this is Dr. Pei, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, and thank you for watching this clip on trapezoid. I always wondered where the word trapezoid comes from, so I went on Google and searched it. It turned out it's a Greek word, trap. T-R, tra, T-R-A, literally means four. Uh, peas, peas, pizzazz, pizzazz, pizza. P-E-Z-A literally means uh, edge or table. So it's a four-legged table. Uh, that's what we have, a trapezoid. Anyhow, so we're given the trapezoid bases 16 and 4. And this is 45 degrees angle. There's uh, quite a significance with this 45 degree angle. 45 is one of the nicest right triangle in that when you have a 45 degree angle, the two short legs are identical. Think of them as twins. Okay, so here's 45, and then this has to be 45 degrees as well. Okay, so given that's the case, if this is height, then this chunk is height as well. And the similar over here, over oh, this side is a little off scale. So H and H. So basically, they're telling you with all those clues that you have an equation. And the whole thing on the bottom here is 14. Let's put a 14 here. Okay, so this is 6. Then you have h plus 6. That's this chunk plus this chunk. Because here I cut it straight down, and there's 6 transferred down here. Plus another h is equal to 14. And from there, you can see that 2h is equal to 8, or minus 6 on both sides. So height is equal to 4, since we're not given whatever the unit is. So let's say 4 units. Okay. Now, the area of trapezoid is one of the most um, interesting or elegant, however you want to put it. If you have a trapezoid, to make it easier, I draw a right angle here. But it's actually applied for, uh, for any general trapezoid. Now watch this. If you flip this trapezoid upside down, let's call this is A, this is B. You flip it upside down, A becomes here, and B is here. Height is still here. Then this area, the whole thing, becomes length, which is this chunk, A plus B, times height. That's the area. Since it's twice what we need for the trapezoid, it would divide by 2. This is the area for trapezoid. Maybe I should have read a T here. It's hard to draw a little trapezoid. Okay. So in order to find a trapezoid for our case, so then we have top, which is 6, plus 14, times height, which we just found, which is 4 units, and divided by 2. Cancel this one. That's a 2. So we'll have 20 times 2, or 40, since this is a unit. Uh, unit. This is the area. It's a unit squared. All right? Quick math break. Here is the frog. Back to math. So a little quick review. 45 degree, this is a big clue here. Both legs are the same. Trapezoid area, you don't have to memorize it on an exam. You forget. Flip this thing over to itself. You'll see this become a nice rectangle. So it's base times height divided by 2, because we only need a half of it. And the, for our particular problem, the answer is 40 units squared. Don't forget the square term. All right, once again, I hope this is clear. From Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. Let's try to. Please comment or thumb up if it's been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.